bro. <laughs> dude, dude. Dude, okay, can I just say, I want to quickly say this is a different kind of pace of video. Usually we react to the new anime episodes and stuff like that and we go from there. But uh, this one, Reincarnated Slime has been very much of a build up recently and it's been a lot of fun to like watch in my off time. But I will say this, it's been so much fun when we get into the action of this series because it's so freaking good, especially like the rematch between Hinata and Rimuru we got recently, then making up versus in seven days, Diablo popping off, all this stuff. This arc has been absolutely amazing and i just want to quickly go over that and what my plan with it is right now is like i'm gonna react to the episodes that are the most hyped that i know because i read the source material and i assume everyone who's read the source materials i am you're probably super excited about mazuki and a few other people coming out to participate in this event especially since like the when i watch those manga recaps or anime recaps for this series it's like the best thing in the world is like you just want to know more about Mujuka tensei because this series is so freaking good and this arc we're getting to the best arc possible because i'd say this is my favorite arc of all time we get the a tournament arc which is literally exactly that plus we get a dungeon arc and on top of that we get our boy versus masayuki to some degree i'm not gonna say too much about that but if you guys do want my full anime reaction to this episode because i'm just gonna be reviewing here today then consider supporting me on patreon get full length anime reactions exclusive anime reactions and so much more but for right now though let's get into reviewing this episode like first of all can i just quickly say veldora is going to open his own like shop during the festival because they're hosting like this festival they're really focused on like hey they're established hey this is a, our we became a demon lord this is our nation we want to show off what we can do what way we can produce product wise which is a great way to kind of just advertise your country especially since the fact that like they already got good food right good cooking especially shune over here just trying to get a better cooking to prove her cooking skills which we saw with today's episode which was awesome i love her i feel like her like presence how cute she is she really impressed on this guy made a impression to say the very least and I, I don't blame him because like she is fine she's probably the, my favorite girl out of all of them like she is still the best girl but she she is still pretty good am i saying her name right i feel like i'm bushing that then we got some like weird drama between this guy and noble we're trying to do uh, a market trade using slaves not particularly the best and this guy knows like shit was up i think my favorite part about this episode was this guy here today we got to see like his insight and his train of thought and how people think like some of the characters we don't really get to see their insight how they think about things but it's cool that we kind of get to see like his insight when he was talking to rimuru which was cool and like he treats rimuru as kind of like his savior slash god especially with the mural mural he has here like literally rimuru comes in with their their conversation he doesn't really know the whole logistics to it you just know like yo what's up and then we see this whole mural and i'm over here like is he treating rimuru as his god or just his savior i think he's his savior but if you guys think other different let me know in the comments down below what you think but i think it's savior and i just love it how he has this mural of him really showing off and especially when he discriminates rimuru he like pushes this guy out and like tells him get the frick out of here i don't want to do business with you i find it interesting because this guy is supposedly it's like the leader of the underworld in their nation or like he has a lot of power that it's kind of surprising and we now know that rimuru has a lot of faith in this guy to the point where he literally pointed him the position to be like their financial advisor to the kingdom which is really big especially since how much influence this guy has and i didn't think that guy was gonna accept it but this guy has so much respect for rimuru that he treats him like yo I'd be awesome that I'd be delighted more than taking this position, which was so cool to see. So I'm interested about that. I think I'm more looking forward to later here is when they create a dungeon because that is something they're gonna be doing later in which we saw in the anime opening and that's gonna be so much fun. This part is gonna be absolutely hilarious. Like Birmu, this guy gets so many girls. Like he doesn't get too many. Like these are like, if I had to be honest with you guys, you could probably make an assumption what's gonna happen with him. Classic anime, anime style, one, two, maybe more but you know uh they actually take it to the next level and this guy's like bro moment because how like what's happening because they're like attaboy attaboy uh dude i can't wait for veldora too besides that though we do find out reamer is actually making their own like arena for the call because they're gonna have masayuki come out and this guy really sims for masayuki i want to quickly say like masayuki is pretty op and not in the degree like overpowers you think like he's a classic pro op protagonist but it isn't to the degree you think it is i love it how they kind of show the anime opening that like how broken he actually is but in reality isn't that's kind of just funny i'm not gonna say why because like when we get into it you'll probably know like light novel readers like are you excited to see mazuki the anime i'm pretty excited to see what happens with that like, i can't wait to see their interaction especially like 
him and the Gobda fight. That's gonna be fun. Um, but besides that, though, we do figure out that they're making another tournament. They're gonna have like 50,000 people, which is kind of crazy. It's kind of like the same thing when you go to a basketball event. They're gonna make like a basketball size arena. They're gonna have food and they're gonna have like, of course, little areas to relax, especially for the nobles, which is so smart because, like, in this world, only nobility gets access to like good food and entertainment while he's making arena that's just super big they'll have vip spots for the nobles but they'll have free entry for everyone else but where the most of the revenue is going to come from is which is smart it's going to be the food relaxation and kind of just like advertising like anything they advertise they'll probably get bought because it's gonna be so freaking good especially the weapons and stuff like that that like all their money is going to come from everything else and this is kind of just a way to bring people in and they're bringing like, such a large sum of people that uh our boys and them are gonna make bang and this guy like knows too like what's up i find that rimuru like thinks like this guy thinks rimuru thinks super far ahead it's like the same thing in overlord when uh what's it called um what's his name from overlord or oh, oh, the servant demiurge demiurge yeah demiurge when he thinks Ainz thinks super far ahead it's kind of similar relationship between these two but in reality it's not like that but it's kind of he's just playing off the idea that he does think super far ahead which is absolutely hilarious when they're scheming. This is so cute. But besides that, though, it's funny that these guys are gonna try to work out, like getting people to work with them for their fast food industry. But then they also want somebody to help reveal Dora to actually do his fast food. And this guy knows like, hey, yeah, we, my people could take care of Valdora, but like, will you guarantee their safety and their payment? So they're gonna go with a mass name for Valdora and also different like things. So that way he doesn't get scare everyone off he works with, which is smart. I thought they were gonna not be able to do that. But uh, yeah, our boy is definitely moving up the ranks, especially since the fact that he starts inviting people to his little thing for his event. And it's so funny, he's inviting just people he knows to their friends, even though like this kind of invitation would be only for like kings, nobles, and really high ranking people. He's literally just inviting the guild master he knows who's pretty chill with him. He's like, hey, I want to invite you because i appreciate your support working with me especially during the whole whole the church arc and stuff to him like inviting like yuki yuki was invited to it seems like even though yuki seems to be sus which we don't know if he's a good or bad guy right now but it's funny that he's inviting all these people to his event which is gonna be super exciting i just can't wait for the fact that we get uh let's see demi uh not demi uh D uh B what's his name diablo i know diablo is introduced introduced in this in these few chapters and Diablo is kind of a mysterious character but we also know he's super freaking LP so we see people introduce him like when Rimuru reintroduces uh De Diablo everyone's scared of him and our boy Rimuru doesn't realize how freaking broken Diablo is especially with the interaction between one of the gir girls in the anime like opening they show like this one chick who's like a priestess who's a high-ranking elf and stuff like that and all you really need to know she knows how OP uh Diablo is to the point where he like he's like yo this is the chick I'm talking about. She's gonna be like, yo, is he chill for you? And of course, like he tells the Diablo is chill. And this girl knows how OP Diablo is. I just wanna quickly say that. And I can't wait to see their interaction with Diablo. But uh, yeah, I know this, this anime is looking to be so freaking promising. Like, quick question for you guys. What was your thoughts on episode 12 of Reincarnated in Slime? I'd be curious to see what you guys say in the description below. For me, I think it's really fun. I love the comedy and stuff like that and the build up they're doing now. And I love the art style, by the way, for the opening. I thought they were gonna do something with super hype and stuff like that, but it's kind of more like energetic build up vibes for what's coming next because that this, the stuff that's coming next is gonna be so freaking good. And I'm just super happy with it. I will be reacting to it on YouTube. I might be reviewing it like I did here today, but when the big episodes, when I know the stuff's gonna be an absolute banger comes out, I will be reacting to my normal anime reaction style. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this anime style. Did you guys like my reaction slash review here today? Let me know by smashing the like button. If you do want more of this, I will absolutely do so. And uh, yeah, what do you guys think about this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys for another one. Have a great day and Jimin out.